and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard. Today's show is all about NetNewsWire. NetNewsWire is a very special application. It's been around for 17 years, making it one of the oldest applications to be featured here at Screencast Online. NetNewsWire is a feed reader for Mac and iOS. It allows you to read RSS and JSON feeds, as well as Atom feeds. Now, you may be wondering, what is an RSS feed or a JSON feed or an Atom feed? These feeds are ways that websites can provide you with updates. So, for example, a blog, say MaxSparky.com. If you want to subscribe to MaxSparky.com, you could subscribe to David's newsletter, but you could also subscribe to his RSS feed, and this will provide you with free automatic updates every time he posts to his blog. Most websites have a feed of some kind automatically built in. This is how much of our internet works. So it's not really a surprise that feed readers used to be immensely popular. Unfortunately, with the demise of Google Reader, a lot of people stopped using RSS feeds, which is a real shame. But now we have NetNewsWare back in version 5. So let's dive in to NetNewsWare on the Mac. This is NetNewsWire on the Mac. I've just downloaded it from the website and dragged it to my applications folder to install it. And I'm going to start with a tour of the user interface. First of all, over on the top left, we have our smart feeds. And just like smart folders in Finder, smart feeds are automatically filled based on a variety of different options, such as items posted today or all of my unread items. As you can see, I've got quite a few. I also have starred, which is something I'll come back to in a little bit. After this, we have on my Mac, and these are filled with a variety of default feeds put together by the team behind NetNewsWire. The team behind NetNewsWire consists of Brent Simmons and a whole host of other people. This is an open source project. So if you're a developer, then you can actually contribute towards this and make changes if you want. Let's have a quick look over here. First of all, I can, of course, hide any of these sections. If I'm not interested in my smart feeds, I can just collapse them. I'm just going to show my smart feeds again, and let's go into the today list. Here we have got a list of all the different posts that have appeared in the feeds that I am subscribed to. That's all of the different ones inside on my Mac. And these feeds have posted a blog post today. So if I go over here and I just click on this top post, Apple acquires dark sky. I have a very nice reader view of this post. This isn't the Daring Fireball website. This is the Daring Fireball feed inside of NetNewsWire. I can go over here and I can actually resize this window. And I can drag this all the way over here to give myself a really nice big view. At the top, I can see the name of the website and the author. And over on the right hand side, I can see the favicon of the website. Next, I have the title, the date that this was posted, and then I have the blog post. And I can scroll down and I can read the blog post. I should note, some websites have truncated feeds. That means that you only get the first paragraph or maybe even only the first sentence of each blog post. So if that's the case, then what you can do is you can go up to the top right over here and click on this Safari icon, which says open in browser. I'll go ahead and do that. Now this is opened in Safari, and now I can see the original post on Daring Fireball. If I look at the reader view in Safari, then you might see it looks quite familiar. And that's because that's what the NetNewsWire reader view is based on. I'll just close Safari there. So now we're back here. There are a few different things I can do with this. I'm going to start over here in the top right and go through them. I can, of course, share. So I have Airmail installed on here as my mail client of choice for the time being. I could also add this to my reading list if I want to come back and read all about this post later. I could also share it via messages, airdrop, notes. I have Xcode installed so I could view it in the simulator, add it to reminders and more. The next button we looked at that's opening it in the browser. But our next button is marking it as unread. If we take a look at our next post down, Zoom, and then we can see there's a little blue dot next to it. But this post doesn't have a dot. If I go ahead and mark it as unread, you can see I have a white dot. This is to contrast with the blue background. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.